If you want to generate out different types of noises, then you can easily go around and generate out no uh, noises in Fusion as well. So on the Fusion piece right here, I have already attached out a background to media out and to generate out noises, you can go around over here on to fast noise button right here. Once you go around over here, you can see that this is what you have and it is not connected on to the required place. So I'm just going to go around and delete the mirrors. And then what I'm going to do with the fast noise is I'm going to take its output and then connect it with the output of the background so that the mirrors gets created just like this. So this is the fast noise as you can see just like this. So you can go around, work around with the detail of the noise right here. You can work around with its contrast as well and its brightness level. You can also move the noise around by using this right here and you can work around with the scale of the noise you can change the angle the and the seat as you can see right here and the seat rate just like this as well and as you move this around you can see this is how it looks you can make it the discontinuous over here just like this as well or invert it over here just like this as well you can work around with the color and change around the color of the noise over here as well and you can work around with the alpha, the red, the greens, the blues, as you can see right here, just like this as well. You can also go around and add in, let's say, a gradient right here, just like this. So you can go around, select out the gradient and add in a gradient to the noise as well. You can go for two color right here, just like this and select out the color that you want uh, or go for the gradient just like this. You can experiment around with all of the settings right here. You can go around and then uh, if there's an image or other settings that you want to apply, then uh, depending on what you have right here, you can work around with those as well. But the main setting for the noise is the noise and the color. And of course, you can go around and add in, uh, uh, let's say, keyframes to this as well. So let me just go around on to the beginning of the timeline right here and add in a keyframe to the seats right here. So a keyframe is added in. So I'm going to go around on to the end, change out the seats right here. And then you can see that as I play along, you can see that the noise is generated just like this. And you can see that it is very, very dynamic. And of course you can go around and add in, uh, let's say, um, uh, keyframes to the angle over here as well. So let me just go around, change around the angle and you can see that this is how it looks. So that is how you can work around with the Fusion Fast Noise inside of DaVinci Resolve. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.